Hello dear students. Today we shall be starting your total English textbook with chapter number 1 and 2 exercises solved here. In this I shall be explaining to you why these answers have been formed as they have been formed and you will get to know how to approach these kind of exercises. Now these worksheets are going to be very helpful for your competitive exams as well. And in my playlist, there are many videos with explanation related to your direct and indirect speech as well as active and passive voice. I will be linking these two videos here. Please do refer to it for better understanding. Here we shall just do the exercises with explanation. So starting, change each of the following sentences to indirect speech. As we know, reported speech or narration is of two types, direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech is when we talk with the sentence being in quotes and when we are speaking something. Now, indirect speech is when that same sentence within quotes is reported to us or to anybody else about how or what we have said that is called your indirect speech. Now, while changing direct speech to indirect speech students, the tense changes the reporting verb changes and there are few additions which are done. Based on that, let us first state how we find some changes in statements. Now, there are different kind of sentences like statements, assertive statements, uh, exclamatory sentences and interrogative sentences. So, how do we change speech for all these different kinds of sentences is what we are going to do. First is statements. I promised him I will never do it again. Now, this is in your direct speech. Why? Because first it is within inverted commas. Okay. Now, we have to report what this uh, sentence has been said in direct speech. I promised him that there will be a linker. This is called a linker. That I would never do it again. The tense is changing from I will to I would. I promised him I will never do it again. I promised him that I would never do it again. The newspapers say the president died yesterday. The newspapers say that the president died the day before. Yesterday becomes the day before. Say becomes say that and the inverted commas are removed. The pronouns also change. The tense changes and we add a conjunction or a linking verb and also a link up. He announced the show will go on. He announced that the show would go on. The television predicted it may rain tomorrow. The television predicted that it might rain the following day. May rain becomes my train. Tomorrow becomes the following day. The manager told us if you work overtime, you will get the bonus. The manager told us that if you work becomes we work overtime, you will get the bonus becomes we would get the bonus because we are reporting what the manager told us in indirect speech. So, the manager told us that if we worked overtime, we would get the bonus. As you can see, you work becomes we work and you will get becomes we work. Now, these were changing direct speech to indirect speech for statements. Now, for questions, how are they going to change? The students asked, can't we go with him? Now, what does it change to? The students asked if they could go with him. And the question mark is removed. The apostrophe quotation marks are removed. And we add a conjunction or a conditional word called if. The students asked if they could go with him. Now, why don't we use whether over here? The students asked whether they could go with him. Now, the reason for that is your if is used when we are establishing a certain condition. But whether is used when we are given a choice or alternatives. Now, did the students ask whether they could go with him or her? Then we could have used whether. If there is an option given him or her, him or them, then we will use whether. But here it is just establishing a condition that can we go with them. The students asked if they could go with him. So, this is what you have to keep in mind that why we are not using whether and why we are using if. Because many students will have that doubt that why are we not writing whether here. So, this is the reason for it. Now, the gardener asked me when shall I prune the roses? Question mark. The gardener asked me when he should prune the roses. The police officer asked the students, what would you have done if I had not arrived in time? The police officer asked the students what they would have done had he not arrived in time. John wondered, have they seen the document yet? 
John wondered if they had seen the document yet. Again over here we are using if and not whether. Why? Because there is no alternative or choices here. It is only a conditional. So if is used. He said to us, are you going to school today? He asked us if we were going to school that day. Today becomes that day. Are you going becomes if we were going. Now for the next kind of questions, uh, statements called commands and requests or imperative statements as we know them to be. The psychologist advised them keep the child in a peaceful environment. The psychologist advised them to keep the child in a peaceful environment. They warned us to not go near the flooded river. They warned us not to go near the flooded river. Three, the police said everyone must stay indoors. Now, the police means police always warns us about something. So, we will use the police warn everyone to stay indoors. Must stay indoors becomes to stay indoors. The singer requested everyone in the audience sing along with me. The singer requested everyone in the audience to sing along with him or her depending whether it is a male singer or a female singer. The speaker said, listen carefully to my lecture. The speaker requested them to listen carefully to his lecture. Next, the different next type of sentences, exclamation and wishes, as we know them to be exclamatory sentences. The politician advised the citizens, vote only for my party. The politician advised the citizens to vote only for his party. Father said to the son, Hush, listen to what I say. Now, this is a kind of advice being given. So, we will use father advised his son, Hush, to listen to what he said. My uncle said, alas, he should have followed my advice. My uncle exclaimed with sorrow or with grief that he should have followed his advice. Now, grief is a, a much more deeper form of sorrow. So, we will use only sorrow over here. Grief we can use in case of some, if we are talking about somebody's death or passing away. But here it is just that it is, he's feeling sad. So we will use exclaimed with sorrow. Father said, thank God the doctor has finally come to see you. Father thanked God that the doctor had finally come to see him. She said to me, thank you for the computer. She expressed gratitude for the computer. Now these are certain words like, advised and exclaimed with sorrow and expressed gratitude which we also have to use in our reported speech. Next there is, we will go over to active and passive voice. Now what do you understand by active voice and what do you understand by passive voice? Now in active voice there will be a subject, a verb and an object. Okay, now when we have to change a sentence from an active voice to a passive voice, the object of the active voice becomes the subject in the passive voice. And the subject of the active voice becomes the object of the passive voice. Okay, this is the only thing that we have to keep in mind and then make the necessary grammatical corrections. Why did he deprive you of your property? Question mark. Now, property is the object. He is the subject and deprive you is the verb. Now, why were you deprived of your property by him? Now, here first comes property and then comes the object. No one ought ever to make so false an assumption. So false an assumption ought never to be made. It is usually found that the trouble is caused by overeating. One usually finds that overeating causes the trouble. Three men are loading the cart. We will start the sentence with the cart. The cart is being loaded by three men. We are just interchanging the subject and the object. He was known to be a kind man. Everybody knew him to be a kind man. Now he was known to be a kind man by everybody. It need not be mentioned. It is understood. So everybody knew him to be a kind man. Alas, we shall hear his voice no more. Begin with, alas, his voice will not be heard by us anymore. We becomes us. We must listen to his music. Begin with his music. His music must be listened to by us. We becomes by us. Listen become listened. There is reason to believe that they have saved the crew. Begin with, it is reasonably believed that they have saved the crew. 
they have saved the crew remains the same, but it starts with it is reasonably believed that he will be elected secretary by the group. The group will elect him secretary. Can you notice how the tenses are changing and how the pronouns are changing when they are being interchanged, the subject and the object? Short dresses are now being worn again. Ladies are now wearing short dresses again. So with this, we come to the end of your first and second chapter exercises. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Keep notification button on for more such videos which will be upcoming. Thank you.